Hey everybody, let's draw a monster. Start by sketching out all your different ideas that you have. Sketch them quickly. Don't try to focus on any details. Don't focus on any one thing. Just try to get out your ideas. It's important to do a few different iterations of your ideas because your first idea sucks. And that's okay. No, no big deal. It happens to everyone. I can't count how many bad ideas I've had while editing this video, but there are probably some redeeming qualities of each one of your drawings that you can actually combine together to make a really cool picture. So do a few different sketches, you know, five or six is usually a good amount. And then take a look at each one of them. Uh, look, look for things that you like about each one. And then you can just, fuse them together and come up with something that's really awesome. So for my drawing, I definitely wanted to have some tentacles in here. I had this idea for some sort of like weird Lovecraftian type of horror monster. So out of these few sketches that I did, I did like the turtle shell on that third one, but I didn't ultimately end up going with it. But I did like the tentacles and from the first one, I did like how the, the upper body structure was it was more human like so then i decided to use that and then change the head to something more human as well i think that the adding up more human qualities makes the the monster a little bit more believable and relatable and i think it adds a little bit more creepiness to it uh, but ultimately i didn't end up using this design anyway like I, I go through the trouble of doing some line art and throwing some color on it to see how it goes, which, and, and I was pretty happy with it, but it, it wasn't what I was going for. It wasn't like monstrous or grotesque enough in the end, but no big deal. I don't have a lot of time invested in it at this point. Uh, I haven't done any like super detailed rendering or anything like that. So it's easy for me to just stop and start sketching again and come up with a different design. I get to this point and I say, Fuck it. I'm going to start over and make something different, but I am going to keep some of these core ideas. I start my sketching phase all over again. As you can see, I wanted to keep the human features. I really wanted to have four arms for some reason. Uh, then I try out just different things for his abdomen, like these big mouths and teeth. And of course the tentacles I, I even right here i tried to try it out of this version where it's more angelic like it's some kind of twisted like angel type of thing where it's a like a, just a, a blank staring face almost like a mask and then i changed it to this big fucking eye of sauron and then of course as i promised here are the tentacles you see me just erasing and coming up with new ideas just constantly here because i'm still i'm trying to figure it out don't have it figured out yet. So I have these tentacles that's coming out of mouths. And then here in a second, I start adding these huge eyeballs and then maybe the eyeballs are mouths. Just some weird shit going on here, but I'm just exploring. I'm just trying out every little, every idea that comes to me. I'm just sketching it out just to see how it looks. I think at this point, it's a little bit more grotesque than I wanted. I wanted to steer it back towards more of horror rather than just like gruesome. Oh yes, of course, add those veins onto those tentacles. We need that. I do stick to using the forearms and like the human upper half. And here I'm just doing some more weird stuff and I start, I gave him some legs instead of tentacles. So now he's what, like some kind of crazy centaur, but, but he's got four legs, four arms. Is that a spider thing? I, mm, I don't know. Might as well lose the back legs. Let's just have two legs. So he's, he's an insect now. Oh yes, faces on the legs. I need that. I need more creepiness. Jokes aside, this is where I really start to like what I've come up with. Like I'm, this is the direction I want to go in. I make his stomach into a mouth of its own. Here, I, I play around with some colors, but I don't. I don't really want the red in the eyeballs. 
Yeah, change the mouth around. Just to make it just a slightly more human-ish. But my whole point here is just to get the design down. I'm not worried about the perspectives or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to take this design and then use it to create like a three-fourths view of this monster. All right, here we go into the final part. Uh, I'm going to make it, as I said, into a three-quarter view. So I set up a little, quick little box just to remind me of what perspective I'm using because I often forget about it. And I start just by setting up the major shapes, like his stomach area is just basically a huge ball with some legs coming off of it and then, you know, throwing his torso area in his head and just start filling it out a little bit more. Just still using the same design I had before. You can see it flash on the screen here and there. This is me bringing it back up. Now, I'm not really worried about, you know, making him in any particular pose or some kind of action scene or anything like that. I'm just making this just to get the design out there just so I have something to use. If I wanted to use this later for any types of projects, then I have a pretty good idea of what this guy looks like and what his proportions are and his size and things like that. So it's not an exciting pose or anything, but it's not really the point. And I just had to bring the tentacles back in, you know, gotta, gotta have those tentacles. Uh, actually, I just felt like he was a bit off balance. Like all of his weight was too forward of his body there in his huge stomach slash mouth area. So I put in a few tentacles in the back just to help balance the weight. And I, I changed his head shape a little bit too. You see it like curve forward instead of just going backwards like I had before. I usually just stay pretty flexible during all of this. Like I, I, I don't hesitate to change anything if I don't like it. I actually experiment with giving him some eyes. Like some for not huge scary eyes, but like just normal eyes on his face. But I'm like, nah, that's, that I think takes away from the scariness of him. I kind of wish I had done a little bit of a call out for his stomach and showing that uh, as being opened. A call out is actually when you take like a small section of the image and then copy it over to the side and then kind of expand on it, maybe show it in more detail or kind of illustrate how it works or something like that. So I would, I could use his, have his stomach open and then having, you could see all the teeth inside or, you know, what, what, what is inside there. And I'm also pulling out his arms a little bit. I, I figured there was one, I wanted to keep them in perspective, which I think I was losing sight of. And I wanted to like increase his silhouette and push it a little bit more and make it a little bit more appeal. This technique I'm using here for shading is where I just block in the simple shading for the ambient occlusion of the scene. This just helps the bring out each section of the creature and then shows how they overlap each other and it adds depth to it. So now that I can see his hand is actually coming on top of his stomach area there or the stomach area is actually in front of those tentacles. And then you can just drop a color layer on top of that, set to a blend mode, and then color right on top of it while keeping those same shadows. It's a very flexible technique to, to color your, your drawings. And then of course I don't leave it at that after, you know, I may have settled on some colors and stuff, then I'll go in with another layer and the lasso tool and start adding in, painting in highlights. Well, there we have it guys. You've created our monster. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram.